Hello everybody. Uh, hope everyone's in good health and spirit and have gone through the session one uh, that has been uh, posted uh, in the WhatsApp group. Now today's session is just a continuation of the earlier session. In the earlier session we have discussed regarding CAM, uh, types of followers, types of CAM and also the various uh, nomenclature or you can say the terms that are used in radial cam. So that was regarding session 1. In today's session we we'll discuss regarding the motion of the follower. We know that uh, as discussed in the earlier sessions as the cam rotates the follower moves accordingly either upward or downward. Here the upward movement of the follower is called as the rise or outstroke. The downward movement of the follower is called the fall or return stroke. Now when these two upward and downward movement of the follower takes place when there is a direct contact between the follower and the cam. Now there are there will be a period when there is no contact direct contact between the follower and the cam. That means the follower is not either moving upward or downward even when the cam rotates. Now this is called as dwell. That means the follower will be motion will be remain constant. It won't move either forward and downward. Next topic coming to the types of follower motion. The follower during his travel may have any one of the following motion. Uh, as mentioned in the as shown either it can have uniform velocity or constant velocity it can move. Either it can move with simple harmonic motion the follower can also, also move with uniform acceleration and retardation motion and the lastly the follower can also move with cyclodin motion. So these are the four motions that are possible for the follower. In today's session we will discuss in detail uh, the first two types uh, that is uh, when the follower moves with uniform velocity and when the follower moves with simple harmonic motion and also we will be solving a problem uh, each regarding the thing. Coming to the first type of follower motion, uh, we'll discuss when the follower moves with uniform velocity. Okay, so here, uh, as seen in the sketch, uh, the displacement, velocity, and acceleration diagram has been shown when the follower moves with uniform velocity. Here, the sketch uh, which shows the displacement, velocity, and acceleration diagram is drawn for a knife edge follower when it moves with uniform velocity. The apsica or what we call is the base or the x axis represents the time. That is the number of seconds required for the cap to complete one revolution or it may also represent the angular displacement of the cam in degree. So the angular displacement is usually for the, when a cam rotates full complete rotation is 360 degree and this 360 degree can be divided into rise, dwell, return and dwell depending upon the angular rotation of the cam. Since the follower uh, and also uh, the ordinate or what we call as the y axis represents the displacement or velocity or acceleration of the follower. Now since the follower moves with uniform velocity during its rise and return stroke, right? Uh, therefore, the slope of displacement curve must be constant. In other words, we can say A B1 and C1 D must be a straight line as it moves with uniform velocity. And if we uh, and if we uh, look at the sketch, uh, we can see that the periods during which uh, that is the periods between during which the follower remains at rest. That means. Uh, when there is no direct contact with the cam and the follower it is called as the dwell period and this dwell period are shown by the line B1, C1 and D and E in the sketch, the figure A and also if you look at the figure C that is the acceleration diagram we can see that the acceleration or retardation or uh, that is the upward and downward uh, of the follower at the beginning and at the end of each stroke is infinite. So when we say infinite, if we compare the acceleration diagram with the velocity and displacement diagram, we can notice that for displacement as well as first diagram, there is a boundary 
uh, for the rice well return and well that means uh, the follower moves up to a certain distance then it reaches the stress then comes back again and it it moves on that means it is within a boundary but not the, in the case of a acceleration acceleration if it just there's just a arrow mark uh, this, there's no a uh, beginning or uh, where a very no ending or no beginning now the reason this is due to the fact that uh, the follower when it uh, comes in contact with the cam initially the follower will be at complete rest as soon as it immediately comes in contact with the cam it need to start from rest and has to gain velocity within no time and this is only possible if the acceleration or retardation at the beginning as well as end of each stroke is infinite now this we know practically is impossible so in order to have the acceleration and the retardation within the finite limit we need to modify the condition which uh, governs the motion of the follower now this may be done uh, by just rounding off the sharp corners of the displacement diagram here presently as seen in the sketch the displacement diagram a b1 and c1 right so we can see there is a sharp corner because it's a uh, uniform velocity but a small modification means if we, we, we just round off this sharp corner at the beginning and end of each stroke okay uh, as shown in the uh, fig uh, next slide as uh, you can just see we can just modify the sharp corner b1 and c1 when we, we just round it off right so by doing so the velocity of the follower increases gradually there's no sudden increase the velocity of the follower increases gradually to its maximum value at the beginning of each stroke and uh, decreases gradually at to zero at the end of each stroke as can be uh, seen in the uh, sketch uh, figure the and if you uh, if you look at the uh, acceleration diagram c uh, it's a kind of a small rectangle in earlier sketch they were just arrows with no boundaries right now the modified displacement velocity in acceleration diagram is how it looks uh, as, as you can see on your uh, screen the rounded diagrams are usually parabolic curves okay uh, the curves that were given is the instead of sharp corner if you just uh, round it off uh, 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 in the shape of the curves are parabolic in nature so this is uh, the displacement diagram velocity diagram and acceleration diagram when the follower moves with uniform velocity that you should uh, take care when whenever we solve the problems they will clearly mention whether the following is follower is moving in uniform velocity or the simple harmonic motion or any other motion the based on that we will be drawing the curves coming to the next uh, with that is simple harmonic motion so as you can see on the screen uh, we have the displacement velocity and as well as acceleration diagram when the follower moves with simple harmonic motion uh, how to draw the displacement uh, uh, sketch that we'll discuss while while solving the problems uh, here if you look at the velocity diagram as well as the acceleration diagram the follower as the follower is moving with simple harmonic motion therefore the velocity diagram uh, what can be seen is a is of a sine curve and the acceleration diagram is a cosine curve we can see that from the figure uh, if you look uh, the velocity diagram the follower is zero at the beginning and at the end of its stroke and increases gradually to a maximum at mid stroke that is shown by the dotted line that is max v not that is maximum velocity during the out stroke okay v not uh, o represents out stroke and r represents the return stroke but on the other hand if you look at the acceleration diagram the acceleration of the follower is maximum at the beginning and the end of the stroke and it becomes zero or it diminishes to zero at mid stroke okay it's just the opposite of velocity diagram Uh, so uh, to solve or to find the value of uh, velocity and acceleration diagram there are a couple of standard formulas that will be using so this is uh, what you can see in the formulas that are used during simple harmonic motion so these are the various parameters s represents the stroke of the follower theta not and theta r theta not 
It represents the angular displacement of the cam during outstroke and uh, theta r represents the return stroke and omega is the angular velocity of the cam. Now to calculate the maximum velocity as seen in the previous slide that is uh, during the outstroke that is v naught it is given by the formula pi omega s by 2 theta naught and again we know that theta naught is the angular displacement of the cam during outstroke. Uh, to find the maximum velocity of the follow on the return stroke that is vr uh, omega pi omega s divided by 2 theta r. Uh, to find the maximum acceleration of the follow on the outstroke uh, acceleration is represented by the notation a naught a represents acceleration and uh, uh, o represents the outstroke. The formula is pi square omega square s by 2 theta o square. So the again for the maximum acceleration uh, formula is almost same but uh, we are representing theta naught by theta r. That is a r acceleration or during outstroke maximum acceleration during outs it, uh, outstroke or uh, sorry, it's uh, maximum acceleration on the return stroke. Okay? A small change modification. I will make those changes. Okay, the maximum acceleration should follow on the. It should be return stroke r. A r equals uh, pi square omega square s by two theta r o square. So these are the uh, formulas that we'll be using whenever the follower moves with simple harmonic motion. So whenever solving the problems, make sure that uh, you should be able. Uh, we should. Uh, we should see uh, actually actual the what is the exact motion of the follow. So based on that, we will be drawing the displacement diagram, and also we will be solving the uh, acceleration and velocity. We will drawing acceleration diagram. So this was regarding simple harmonic motion. So let us uh, directly go to the problem. Okay, and uh, these problems have already been shared with you uh, a few uh, a few days back. So if you can just uh, go through that same problem and even in the uh, the problems that has been posted, uh, we have I have just mentioned step by step how to solve it. You can either go through that or you can just listen to the you know, how in the, this video. So the problem uh, is given as a cam is to give the following motion to a knife edge follower. So it's written that the type of follower is a knife edge. Right, and these are the information they given. The outstroke during 60 degree of cam rotation, it dwells for the next 30 degree of cam rotation. Return stroke during 60 degree of cam rotation, and the last is dwell for the remaining 210 degree of cam rotation. Further, they are given the stroke of the follower is 40 mm. Here, the stroke of the follower means the lift. The lift of the follower is 40 mm, and the minimum radius of the cam is 50 mm. The follower moves with uniform velocity. That is important thing. Here they mention that the follower moves with uniform velocity during both the outstroke as well as the return stroke. They ask to draw the profile of the cam when the axis of the follower passes to the axis of the cam shaft. That means the axis of the follower as well as the axis of the cam shaft will be same. And the second part is uh, we need to draw the profile of the cam when the axis of the follower is offset by 20 mm from the axis of the cam shaft. So here when in the axis of the follower is offset by 20 mm they are not mentioned whether the offset is on the left side or the right side. So whenever uh, it's just mentioned uh, which side the offset is, is not, if not mentioned then we will just assume that the offset is on the right side. So the offset of the follower is uh, offset by 20 mm from the axis of the cam shaft towards the right direction. So first we'll, uh, we need to draw the displacement diagram and remember as this problem in this particular problem is mentioned for uh, knife edge follower and also they are mentioned clearly that it is for uniform velocity. So we know that uh, for uniform velocity we discussed in earlier slide it, uh, as it, it moves with the uniform velocity it will be a straight line not, not a curve. Now let us see how to draw the displacement diagram. So the first thing is that we need to draw a horizontal line AX. Okay, and this AX will be equal to 360 degree, that is one complete rotation of the cam. Now, on this 
line that is on a x we need to mark the outstroke dwell return and dwell as given in the problem in the problem they clearly mention the outstroke is 60 degree so we measure 60 degree now before uh, drawing uh, drawing the line ax uh, that is equal to 360 we need to take the scale suppose if we are taking 1 cm is equal to 10 degree it will become 36 cm it is a bit, little bit lengthy but uh, is for, uh, we can just uh, if not we can just 1 cm is equal to 20 degree right so it will be around 18 cm mm -hmm. but it is left to you if you want still smaller you can just you can just further uh, reduce the value right so in this first law I have taken 1 degree is equal to 1 cm is equal to 20 degree now uh, Outstroke, uh, it is 60 degree. Uh, if it is 60 degree, according to a scale of 1 cm is equal to 20 degree, it will become 3 cm. Again, 12, 30 degree I have marked. Then the return stroke, 60 degree. And the remaining is that again, 12, it is 210 degree. So, uh, here you can see, in the scale, you can just, um, I have taken the mark uh, AS. That is, uh, that is the AS represents the outstroke. S, S to T represents the dwell and T to P represents the return stroke and P to X represents the dwell. Uh, now the alphabetic uh, names uh, is left to you either you can uh, give A, B, C, D continuation or as shown in the figure. Now once the outstroke dwell and return stroke has been drawn on the line A, X, the next step is we need to draw it vertical line that is a y and now this a y is equal to the stroke of the follower it's nothing but the lift lift of the follower and the problem they have mentioned that the stroke of the follower is 40 mm so we just measure that a y is equal to 40 mm and complete the rectangle as shown in the sketch that is we just complete all the four con uh, draw the and make a complete rectangle next step is divide the angular displacement angular displacement of 60 degree that uh, uh, angular displacement during outstroke and return stroke as uh, during the dwell we need not uh, divide it because the follower will be at rest there will be no motion so divide the angular displacement during the outstroke as well as the return stroke into any equal number of even parts it should be even parts it can be either 6, 8, 10, 12 uh, it depends so here in this particular I have taken it as 6 and after dividing it to equal uh, 6 parts draw vertical lines through each point now we have discussed in the earlier slides that if the follower is moving in uniform velocity the displacement diagram consists of straight length as in this particular problem it is moving in uniform velocity we need to draw a straight line that means join A to G that is the outstroke then a straight darkened line dwell where it is at rest then H2 P again a straight line uh, representing the written stroke and then P to X right so the complete displacement diagram will be A G H P X uh, this point and uh, this should be drawn with darkened lines so this represents the displacement diagram next coming to the cam profile so the first condition they mentioned is that profile of the cam and the axis of the follower passes through the axis of the cam shaft so now here we will discuss how to draw the cam profile first draw a base circle and in the problem they have mentioned the minimum radius of the cam that is the base of the cam is 50 mm so you take a compass, measure 50 mm and draw a circle with O as the center. Now since the axis of the follower passes to the axis of the cam, mark the point A as shown in the figure. Okay, And this uh, from, from A, from OA mark angle by using a by taking a uh, take a protractor mark an angle 60 degree that is this six that represents the outstroke then again mark angle 
uh, as shown in the sketch, S40, that is 30 degree, to represent the 12. And lastly, the angle TOP, that is 60 degree, to represent the written stroke. So, so that is, so after drawing that, uh, divide the angular displacement during outstroke and during the return stroke, as has been done in the displacement diagram, into the same number of equal parts as in the displacement diagram. In the displacement diagram, we have divided the outstroke as the return stroke into six equal parts. Similarly, we should divide the angular displacement here also into equal six parts. Now, after dividing, uh, marking the point, the base circle, join the points 1, 2, 3 as shown, and also uh, O dash, 1 dash, 2 dash, X shown uh, with O center and produce behind, beyond the base circle. That done, next thing is that from the displacement diagram we need to measure that is the distance 1 P and transfer that distance and here transfer that distance that is taking 1 S center and through that line make it arc, make it cut that represents 1 B same way again you mark 2 C from the displacement diagram I take a compass measure 2 C come back to the cam profile take 2 S center and cut an arc Similarly, you do it for the rest. Transfer the points from the displacement to the cam uh, to the cam profile. Now, join all the uh, uh, points that is A, B, C, uh, similarly up to M and P with a smooth curve. That is with a smooth curve, that is uh, freehand drawing. Now, the curve A, G, H, P, A. A, G, H, P, A represents the complete profile of the cam that need to be darkened. So that completes the cam profile. So next we need to draw the cam profile when it is offset by 20 mm. So as they are not mentioned whether it is on left or right side we are assuming that it will be on the right. So the same process uh, take, uh, take OS center and you need to draw a base circle of radius 50 mm. From the center of O, you offset, that means you measure on the right side 20 mm and draw a straight line. Okay, uh, so that is the offset. Now taking O again as the center, you need to draw the offset circle. With 10, is the, 10 mm is radius, draw the circle. Next, join uh, AO and draw an offset circle as mentioned of radius to 20 mm with center as O. Now from OA, again the same process, we need to mark the uh, uh, outstroke dwell and the return stroke that is 60 degree, 30 degree and 60 degree respectively. Again we need to divide into same equal number of parts as that of the displacement diagram. Now, now the join the points. That is 1, 2, 3 and uh, so on and also 1 dash 2 dash, one dash, two dash so on to on the base circle. On, when joining here, we need to draw to draw tangents to the off, offset circle and produce this tangent beyond the base circle as shown in the figure. Right. Now again the same uh, as we discussed earlier, uh, transfer the dis whatever the distance that is 1 B 2 C C 3 D or O dash H 1 dash J from the displacement diagram to the cam profile diagram from okay uh, mark, transfer all the points join the point a b c m and so on m and p with a smooth curve now here the curve a g h p a is a complete profile of the cam so by this uh, we are uh, we have drawn the cam profile when the follower is offset by 20 mm so this completes the problem uh, to find the maximum acceleration of the follower on the outstroke, uh, acceleration is represented by the notation A0. A represents acceleration and uh, uh, O represents the outstroke. The formula is pi square omega square s by 2 t. So first let us start with the displacement diagram. Here uh, as discussed in earlier problem, first initially you need to draw the horizontal line AX that is 360 degree to some suitable scale then on that line AX 
you need to represent the out stroke, dwell, return stroke and also the dwell as measure, the values measure in the problem. Again, uh, you need to divide the out stroke as well as the return stroke into equal number of even parts. In this particular, uh, as you can see in the figure, I have it divided into six equal parts and then mark the point and draw vertical line. And of course, the vertical line uh, has to be fought. That is, next is you, after marking it, you can just draw, take a vertical line of AY that is equal to 40 mm, that is the lift, uh, st uh, lift of the follower and complete the rectangle. And then you just uh, draw all the vertical lines from the out stroke and the return stroke. Now, since the follower uh, is, is clearly mentioned, it moves to simple harmonic motion. So we need to draw a semicircle with AYS diameter and divide into six equal parts as shown in the figure. Now uh, divide the uh, semicircle into equal numbers and name them. Now from point A, that is small letter A, B, C, draw horizontal line and these horizontal lines will intersect the vertical line that has been drawn for the out stroke as the return stroke. That is if you uh, you can name number it like 1, 2, 3 or uh, and O dash, 1 dash, 2 dash and so on at it uh, intersects uh, at the point B, C, D, M and C right uh, so if you, uh, you just uh, wherever it intersects uh, you can just make a point or a mark and you name it as cap letter A, B, C, D, E, F, E and so on now join these lines a, B, C, D with a smooth curve as shown and this is the required displacement diagram. Now once the displacement diagram has set for follower motion, uh, we will discuss when the follower moves with uniform velocity. Okay. So here uh, as seen in the sketch, uh, the displacement velocity and acceleration diagram has been shown when the follower moves with uniform velocity. Here the sketch uh, which shows the displacement velocity and excess diagram is drawn for a knife edge follower when it moves with uniform velocity. The epsica or what you call is the base or the x axis represents the time. That is the number of seconds required for the cap to complete one revolution or it may also represent the angular displacement of the cam in degree. So the angular displacement is usual for an, when a cam rotates full complete rotation is 360 degree and this 360 degree can be divided into rise, dwell, return and dwell depending upon the angular rotation of the cam. Since the follower uh, and also uh, what the ordinate or what you call as the y axis represents. Now again the, when the cam profile is offset the same way here they are not measured with the offset is on the either left or right. So we resume it on the right side. So here again, first we need to draw the base. Uh, so first uh, we need to draw the base circle of uh, given radius uh, that is 40 mm. Then offset it by 20 mm. After offsetting, uh, we need to draw the offset circle. Then join uh, center O to A. From there, we need to take a measure, measure by using a protractor mark the out stroke well and the return stroke that is 90 30 and 60 degree now once uh, we need to after that we need to divide it the same equal number of uh, the out stroke and as well as the return stroke as uh, similar to that of the displacement diagram again trans transfer the uh, transfer the uh, dimensions from the displacement diagram to that of the camp profile uh, but the thing here in the whenever we are offsetting it, uh, whatever the lines we are drawing through 1, 2, 3 or 1 da o dash, 1 dash, 2 dash, it has to be tangent to the offset circle. Then uh, mark all the points and join everything by a smooth curve and A, G, H, P, A represents the cam profile. So that is the cam, uh, so this is the cam profile uh, when it has been offset. Now uh, uh, to measure or to calculate the velocity and acceleration diagram, we will be directly using the uh, formulas that we discussed in the earlier slide. So just uh, uh, go to the notes, it's a direct substitution of the formula. Right? Uh, so this completes uh, today's session 2.
and today session we discuss uh, types of uh, uh, motion, uh, motion of the followers and in this we discuss uh, two mo uh, follower motions that is uniform velocity and simple harmonic motion and also we have solved a problem each on the these two uh, just go through the no problem notes uh, that has been shared to you earlier in the problem notes it's been mentioned step by step how to draw the uh, displacement diagram how to draw the cam profile how to draw the cam profile when it has been offset please go through this and if you have any doubts please do let me know thank you